Hey people, you're on the Hillbilly Voodoo channel. This here is our old fart drift cart. What's an old fart drift cart? It's a drift cart built by an old fart. If you've been following along, you know that we've been building this contraption out of ground obtainium. And what the hell is ground obtainium? Well, that's all the junk that I got laying around here on the ground. To the point we're at now, we haven't spent a dime on this thing. This is all just stuff that's been laying around. We slapped it together, had some trials and tribulations, didn't quite work a few times, and I think that we finally got the gear ratio to a point that it should pack my butt around. Last time on the show, we were able to get it to move across the shop with me on it, and I think today we're going to launch it out into the big wide world and see what kind of mischief we can get into and what other kind of parts are going to fall off of it. So stick around, let's see what happens with this thing. Just a little bit of viewer discretion for you guys here. There will be crashes and there will be blood in this video. So if you're squeamish, look away now. And if not, stick around and laugh at like hell at me. alignment needs some work it don't steer for shit <laughs> uh, my toe in is like way way bad so yeah as soon as you turn the wheel like that it, it really wants to turn and as you can see we fall down oh let's see if this thing is going to start again As you can see our toe in it's way too much it's almost like we got brakes on that belt is slipping still but with that much toe in it was twitchy darty shooting all over the place 
kind of deadly. Got a little bit of bark off of one knee here and had some fun. Some gas spilt on that secondary pulley there and on the jack shaft and that's why it's slipping. So we'll take this thing back up into the shop and see what we can do about that steering. Don't really know if we're going to do it today, but we'll see what we can do about it. At least we know it moves and it goes and it crashes and it restarts. That's some pretty good uh, good things there. Okay, let's take this back up to the shop and maybe play around with it some more. Yeah, a little bit of bark off my knee. I figured there was going to be some blood in this video. I guess it's not really a whole lot of blood. It's a good thing I'm a professional crash test dummy and I, I kind of fall down quite often, so it's really not a big deal. Well, let's take a look at the cart here and see what kind of damage we've done to it and what we're going to need to fix or modify to make it a little bit more, well, maybe user-friendly. Well, no, I don't know. It's pretty user-friendly. It's fun as hell. So, yeah, let's take a look at it and see what, what we're going to need to revamp here. So, like I was saying down at the bottom of the driveway there, our toe-in doesn't really look that bad on camera here, but combined with the caster, or sorry, with the camber, it's, uh, well, no, combined with the caster and the camber and the toe-in, it is super dirty. And I don't really know how much of that is going to be um, remedied by changing anything. The, the toe in obviously has to come out a little bit because as soon as you turn the wheel, it wants to dart one way or the other. So that's, that's an obvious sign that you have way too much toe. But the fact that it's a solid axle, no slippy, and I'm very large, as you can see, all that weight is gripping the rear wheels, and as soon as you transfer weight one way or the other, like that, one wheel's gonna let go and the other one's gonna grab, and anybody that's driven anything with a locker in the rear knows that when one wheel starts to slip and the other wheel starts to grip, you start turning around in a circle and going one direction that you probably don't wanna go. So a lot of the weight is on back, right? All that weight, knee, engine, pretty much everything. I was going back over the video there a few times. Front wheels were pretty much lifting off the ground. So if you got no wheels on the ground, you ain't going to steer. I don't really know if we're going to be able to remedy that at all. With the drift sleeves on there, it'll probably be a little bit better because you'll have slippy and grippy just like a, like a open differential. One, one wheel won't turn, won't grab kind of thing, but... Until we cut that tie rod right there and shorten it up a little bit because I, I got the adjusting all the way in. So we're going to have to cut it, shorten it up a little tiny bit so that I can get the toe to turn out like that. Besides that, throttle cable slipped a little bit. But it's still working. I would like it more up like that. But it's down like that. So that's not a big deal. There's you can just loosen up that hose clamp and slide it back to do the adjustment. Our uh, homemade clutch brake mechanism seemed to work exceedingly well until it got dosed in gas from our little bit of a crash roll over there. You guys didn't really see me totally bounce off the ground, but you seen me on the way down. So you can just imagine what a big blob of splat it was on the ground. Well, let's go around the side here and take a look and see if we broke anything else. Kind of really doesn't look like it had any real damage. Our pulley stayed pretty much in line everything nothing bent breaking everything still works the uh yeah everything kind of sorted did its thing i guess 
that tensioner right there where are we right there i think we're going to need to build some type of uh bolt or something that will push on the push on the bolt here push it out for that tensioner because that belt is obviously stretched again and it is super floppy in there so that's why we're slipping well and because we had gas dripping out of the tank right directly onto the belt and we were crashed so that didn't really help a whole lot and i'm sure once i build some type of pushy thing to push the bolt out so that we can get more tension on that pulley yeah it's like just flopping around there it's not even tight so that should tighten up that belt solve all that problem i noticed that we are missing a bolt out of that pillow block bearing so we lost that and we'll probably have to go around and tighten up it looks like the axle slid sideways a little bit in the crash so we'll have to figure that out but I think I'm going to put this project to the side for a little bit. The wife wants me to build her a thing. So you guys are going to have to stick around and see what that thing is. We'll, we'll document the whole build of that too. It'll be kind of neat. Um, so until next time, you guys use what you got to make what you want. doesn't necessarily have to be a crazy old fart drift cart, but... You know where I'm going with it. So, till next time, have a good one.